Hey guys, Nightmare Narrative here. Today I want to talk about the only scary movie that has a wide release this year for the Halloween season, which is Countdown. Countdown is a scary movie with the good premise of there is an app that can predict when you are going to die. Now that is a scary concept just knowing when you are going to die, and for some people in this movie, instead of 52 years from now, it is two days from now. However, in this video today, I want to show why this will not be a good scary movie. Horror as of late has come out with some good concepts on paper, such as The Nun, Overlord, Slenderman, Truth or Dare, Unfriended, and The Bye Bye Man. All great concepts to scare you, but do you want to know what these movies have in common? They are not scary and not good movies. The Nun was a bore fest that was dim the entire movie. The only scares were jump scares, and the monster after seeing it 20 times became not so scary. Overlord had the promise of Nazi zombies, but all we got was a decent saving Private Ryan with some jump scares. Slenderman, uh, I don't want to talk about that one. Truth or Dare has a good premise of play the game or you die, but then it just gets ridiculous and suffered from the PG-13 rating, so it couldn't go to any of those dark places effectively. Unfriended. With the idea of a ghost using FaceTime or Skype to kill people, but it only used jump scares. And finally, the Bye Bye Man. Again, a great premise of, if you hear about this evil spirit, it will come after you and kill you, and anyone else who knows about it. But other horror movies did it better, like The Ring, and It Follows. But the rest of the movie does not deliver on that promise. I want to take a look at those bad horror movies that I just named, and let's find the common denominator, which is jump scares. Jump scares are not what makes great horror. What makes great horror is marinating in the sense of dread and anxiety of what is going to happen next, or no, don't go in there type mentality. But jump scares take advantage of the fact that you're not expecting it, but in a bad way. Jump scares are horror's equivalent to comedy's fart jokes. Yes, fart jokes are hilarious to me, but it won't give me the same laughter as a well-timed and delivered joke. Same goes with jump scares. Jump scares are cheap. Now with that being said, a few fart jokes in a comedy can elevate it, and a few jump scares in a horror can elevate the horror movie and prime you to be in a good mood for that genre. But too much of it just feels like the writer, director, or whoever just didn't put in the effort to scare me. That method of scaring me is something that a little child could do. It lacks substance. So this brings us back to Countdown. Now that we have established what makes a bad horror movie, let's use the countdown trailer as our only means to judge the movie right now, and use the trailer from a previous bad horror film, The Bye Bye Man, as a sort of horror litmus test. The reason why I am using The Bye Bye Man is because it is made from the same production company, STX Entertainment. Now, STX Entertainment does a great job of giving opportunities to up and coming directors and writers with a lower to mid level budget to make their movie. With that comes with some flops. There is a reason why someone like Bloomhouse or some other studio may have rejected the script because maybe it is not a good movie, and they did not see the potential in it being a good horror movie. So let's take a look at the already determined to be a bad horror movie's trailer, The Bye Bye Man. The trailer starts off with some Photoshop stock photos with the evil spirit in them. It shows us one of the jump scares in the mirror, poorly synced lip movements to the actual audio. You're gonna tell me you know that? Please don't make me say it. Don't say it, don't think it. A lot of quick cuts would show only the good shots at the beginning of the movie. All the rest is terribly acted. Then, one of the only genuinely good scares in the movie is completely spoiled by the trailer. What the hell is that? What is it? <laughs> Terrible CGI that is covered with a blinking black screen scenes from the end of the movie. Then, at the very end of the trailer, something that isn't even in the movie. I'm afraid of putting this into your head. Tell me. Bye bye, man. Now, let's take a look at the trailer for Countdown. The trailer starts off with some Photoshop stock photos with an evil spirit in them. Jump scare. A genuinely good scary moment that is now ruined with the trailer. Also, bad CGI that is covered with a blinking black screen. 
a bunch of quick cuts that show you all the jump scares and all the tension building moments. And probably near the finale of the movie. And another genuinely creepy moment that is spoiled in the trailer. Oh my god. Yo, are you calling my name? These trailers tell me everything I need to know about their respective movies. It shows me that the movie relies on jump scares because of the immediacy of the death these characters have. Bad CGI from a low budget Hollywood studio and quick cuts to show all the scary moments in the movie and the hopes that maybe the viewer would spend five bucks to see all these scary moments. So I know I've been saying a lot of negative in this video. I never want a movie to be bad. I wish all movies were great and all horror movies could actually scare you and make you think back on it in a positive way. But instead, Countdown has just shown me in their trailer exactly the kind of movie we are going to get. A jump scare laden, low budget, should have been on Netflix kind of movie. But hopefully I'm proven wrong. I will review the movie when it comes out on October 25th. I can't wait to do that follow up video with you guys. Y'all have a great day, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. Like this video and subscribe for more scary videos like this. And remember, sleep well.